Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, line 1. And the translation that I'm reading says, We can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. (laughs) Every time I see and read the scripture, I smile. Someone I used to know quite well always recites Woody Allen's quote, If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. This quote is as true today as it was when I first heard it. We can plan until we're blue in the face. If God doesn't see fit to give you what you requested at that moment, then you will wait. (laughs) It doesn't mean you won't get it. It it may mean you're not ready for it. Waiting could mean later receiving a better blessing than you ever imagined. We could also discover in our wait that what we requested was denied because what we wanted wasn't actually something designed for us. We wanted what someone else had, but what they had was for them. What's for us will align with us right on time. So don't stay upset or allow yourself to remain in a stage of depression if something doesn't happen as planned. Smile because you know God has something better in store. Be hopeful for what can come. Affirm who you are and declare your confidence in God to provide what you need. I won't even pretend I struggle with this, hence why every time I see this scripture, it makes me smile. It's a constant reminder that God's plans and his ways are always right and what's right, what's true, will usurp our opinions and plans every time. All we can do is practically wait. I say proactively because God doesn't want us to be idle. We should be preparing ourselves mentally and physically, getting our baskets ready, as I always tell myself, which is a tie-in to the biblical account of the Israelites having enough baskets for the mounds of fish that God provided them. If you're sitting back twiddling your thumbs, there's no way you're ready for what you're expecting. Let me give you an example you can relate to. Uh, If you order furniture for your home, Don't you ensure the space is cleared, clean, and ready? That's proactive waiting. We don't wait until the furniture arrives to then get to work. Well, I hope you don't. (laughs) Idle minds are the devil's playground, as the saying goes. If you're sitting around idle, you're setting yourself up to be a receptacle to every lie and trick the enemy has in its arsenal. God wants us to be obedient in our walk and continue to do our work with as much passion as we would if our goals were attained. We can be expectant, but we should never live entitled. And each day we're to share our testimony as God's love in our lives. We may struggle, but can we still share the countless ways he has blessed us? Can we thank him now for what we believe is to come? What greater way to show receptivity and agreement than through the feedback of gratitude and praise? It's also a great way to silence the enemy that tries to pounce on your hopes and dreams. I mean, the enemy wants you to believe you are less important, valuable, talented, and blessed than you are. That's why the words can't and impossible keep blaring through your mental speakers. That's why everything you have done wrong, every failure you have experienced stays on loop in your mind. It's to sabotage you and convince you to quit. Tell the enemy where to go while you keep your eyes fixed on where God is guiding you and you make room for what he's bringing you. Let's pray on it. Father, thank you for showing me that I can plan all that I want, but only you will make things happen and only on your time. Thank you, Father, for this experience because I am learning patience. I am being humbled in my understanding that I am your servant, not the other way around. No book or person can give me the full answer to my problems. Only through my connection and relationship with you is that possible. Only in my walk with you, Lord, will you reveal the right answer. Only when I am silent and receptive will I see and hear what you have planned for me. Only then will your word in the Bible make sense, connect and speak to me and tap the recesses of my mind that frees me to heal and be closer to you, Father. 
Father, free me from the limitations of calendars and clocks. Free me from placing time restrictions on reaching greatness. Free me from thinking that I can only do something by a certain date or that I can only be something by a certain age. There is no time in your mind, Father. All the time is relative to your timetable. What would appear to take five years to achieve can be done in five months or even five days. And what one would rush to complete in six years could take 16. It's about us being present with you, trusting and waiting for you. Thank you, Father. Keep showing me how amazing it is to be in a relationship with you. Keep molding out of me the lies I grabbed a hold to and believed to be my truth. In your name, I humbly give thanks. Amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are blessing the others. I love you all. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.